Hi, my name is Gary Taylor and I want to show you how to do a page not found using React Router. Here we have a standard application using Create React App. Um, to show you through some of the components, I've obviously included the router. Um, I've got a video showing how to set this up, coming to you at the link at the top right now. Uh, home, about us, uh, account details. What I want to do is just show you through the routes that I've got. It's got a home path, about us, a user with an about us, and I'll explain that in a second, and then a user with a username. If I navigate around the site just using the URL, if I go to the about us page, then we should be able to, if I type it in correctly, see the about us page. But I can also see the home component. So we can see that the home component and the about us is rendering. If I go to a user, then we can see that the home and the account with Bob, which is the name at the top, is being composed in. Now, if I go to user about us, we get everything. We get the home, we get the about us, and we get the account about us. The reason being is that Part of this is checking to see whether the URL contains any of these parts. And in this scenario, we do have a forward slash, because we've got it here. We do have a user about us, because we've got user about us. But we also have user about us with this splat. What that's doing is it's taking anything as a string and what React Router does is it converts that to a variable and puts it into a prop called params. Well, match params username. Bit of a mouthful, but once you get used to it, it's okay. People can explode that later on. So you can see here that we're able to take a part or a chunk of the URL and convert that into a variable that we can then use in our components like that. But if we want the infamous not found page, we get our home page because we're matching this forward slash. To solve this problem, we can put exact in. And now we get a blank screen. If we go back to our home, we'll see home. And if we go back to the user about us, we can see now that the home has gone from that as well. We've just got about us and a hello. And if we put in something we don't know, we've got a white page. To solve this problem, React Router has created a component called Switch. If we wrap a switch statement around our roots, then what's going to happen is it's only going to render one once I put it in the right place. Joys of copying and pasting. So in this scenario, with our users about us, We're only rendering one. If you've done any programming before, a switch statement is generally something that you would take an input. And in this case, you can think of the fact that we're taking the URL and we're going to render one of these outputs. So now we're able to actually render a single output we now need to do our not found page so what i've done is created a, a component called not found with sorry but your page was not found pretty simple so what i'm going to do now is take one of these paths copy and paste it and actually take the path section out as well as the exact and i'm going to use the not found component and put it in Now when I refresh, 
if I go to a page that's not found, if all goes according to plan, we should have, sorry, but your page was not found. An interesting thing to note is that if we take the exact out, then it doesn't work. In fact, if we take the exact out, none of our pages start working. Um, everything stops working. So here we can see that user Bob, Gary, everything has stopped working. We put the exactly back in, or exact, sorry, back in, then our routing begins to work the way we'd, we'd want, including our infamous not found page. Now what you generally get on a not found page is it'll actually tell you what it is that you was looking for so that you can actually see that particular page wasn't found. In order to do that, we can use the match.url to get that value. So, sorry but the page duh, 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 was not found. So we've got here, sorry but the page dd or test was not found. So whatever's going up in the URL is being taken and we can actually render that within the match and a, a parameter of the match prop called URL. So that's how you get the not found page within React Router. Pretty simple once you learn the gotchas and the fact that you have to use the switch. I've tried to get the not found page to work without using the switch and I've not been able to pull it off. So the documentation clearly states that you need to have this switch if you want to do the type of not found. Previous, there was a component called miss, but that's been taken out. I hope you found this useful. Remember, if you love this, guys, please hit the subscribe and click that lovely like button. Thanks a lot.